you most likely, you know, know John McAfee a lot better than a lot of people because of how much he's told you about his life. But I guess, you know, going through this whole process and I guess reflecting on it, do you feel like you really know John McAfee at this point? <laughs> it's a good question. Uh, and and, and it's that, that question has been kind of brought into even sharper relief as a result of these conversations because quite a lot of people have asked me about certain things in John's life that I just don't know about. Uh, and I've explained this a little bit. You know, there's certain dimensions of John, crypto's one, dead man switch and all that stuff, pooping through hammocks, sniffing bath salts, all that stuff. We never talked about, not once, never even entered the, the equation with him. Uh, now that's not to say that it didn't happen, but I think John had the sort of myth meme world that he existed in. And I also think he had the real man world that he existed in. I think he gave me the real John McAfee in terms of his feelings, his philosophies, his thoughts on religion. He was, I mean, let's be honest, he was pretty open with me, pretty exposed, pretty vulnerable and on a lot of things. I don't think, I, I mean, he loved a bit of hype, don't get me wrong, and I, and I loved hearing it. But I do think he opened up a lot. Uh, I, I, I've got a thinly sketched view of John McAfee. I wouldn't like to say that it's a, a full color portrait. I'd yeah. say thinly sketched with some shade and some, some contrast. But that might, I mean, as somebody said in a review that I was very grateful for, that might be all we ever get. Yeah. And it might just be that this, you know, the, the same review said, this is the only book that could have ever been written about John McAfee. And if that's the case, you know, I'm very pleased to take that accolade. But you know, will I ever or anyone else ever get the full picture? I doubt it. It's it's interesting because I feel like you did such an excellent job putting this whole thing together, gathering information, you know, trying to put all the threads together. But I think in some ways I'm, I'm more confused about John McAfee's life after reading the whole book because I'm like, he almost feels like a like a unicorn, like a like a mythical yeah. creature. <laughs> I think that's what he wanted. And, and I'll be honest and say that that's partly what I wanted to leave people with. OK, uh, this feeling of being slightly confused by it all. And he's, the like the, that, he's like the guy, guy from the Dos Equis commercials if he was real. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're left at the end of it thinking, what, what was that? And who was that? And but that's, <laughs> that is what McAfee is all about. And I think that's the point, kind of. You know, I think people want things to be cut and dried and at the end of it say, right, I've got this. I've got this absolutely nailed down. This was this guy. You're just not going to get that with McAfee. He's like trying to sort of capture mercury, you know, <laughs> in your hands. You can't do it. Uh, well, I'm glad that's what you were going for then, because I was uh, so I was I did your whole book in audio book, and um, right. I I had just finished chopping firewood and I'm carrying it in the house when it when it got to the end of the book and I get done I go, what the hell just happened? And my wife goes, what do you mean what the hell just happened? I'm like I just finished the book and I'm very confused. <laughs> yeah, but you know I'm I'm quite proud of that. Yeah, in a, in a way, because if I'd come up with something that was quite sort of dry and predictable, I think I'd feel disappointed and I think people would be too. I, I, I feel like I need a left. sequel. I, I feel like I need a part two, though. I, I need it. <laughs> you, might be onto, you might be onto something. You might be All onto right. something. There might be something. I, listen, I have thought about it. I have thought about it and have been approached about it. Uh, there is an angle that I'm deliberating about. Uh, and I'll tell you when I, when I do know. But you know, I wanted it to be this kind of curious thing. I wanted it to be this kind of unsettling, unsatisfactory confusing book uh because i think there's enough sort of humdrum books out there about people that are just like okay we get we get it we get what the life was I, I i'd like people to have more questions about john mcafee than they have answers and i think the book does that what do you think his legacy looks like what is the that and and maybe there's a few legacies there's there's you know john mcafee the enigma there's john mcafee the the you know the the software developer he did change that world a lot i guess what do you think his legacy is i don't i think there's two I, it depends on what side of the fence you're on. Uh, one side of the fence is he's the champion of freedom. He's the renegade. He's the stick it to the man. That's one. The other mm -hmm. one is nut job, killer, drug addict. That's yeah. it. There's, yeah. there's, he literally he is that polarizing. And there's not much in between. And, and the sad part of it is that the, the, the programmer aspect, the, ge the math genius aspect of it is the bit that will probably drop between the cracks in the, in the legacy. 
Uh, the people who know will know, but I think to the general public, I mean, let's be honest, there aren't many articles out there or haven't been since his death about John's prowess in programming. That's not what they've been. You know, I've been involved in two articles, one with the Daily Mail, the other with the New York Post. One was about women, the other one's about drugs. You know, that's what you're going to get with John. And I think, you know, for the, the man in the street, it's those two things, nut job, absolute nut job, or he's our champion. And there, there isn't a lot in between those two. Well, as you reflect on, you know, this project, and, and I, I, I do think, um, you know, you mentioned that you decided you were going to run it just as, as is and not as an autobiography, which honestly, I think did it the best justice. I think it was the right yeah. way to do it. But I Didn't guess, like, as you, yeah, as you reflect on this project, um, you know, I guess, what do you feel like you learned? Or what do you feel like, you know, if there was anything that changed in you after you went through this experience? Hugely. I mean, for me, it was life changing. Uh, and I don't say that lightly because, you know, I've, I've had some good projects. I've worked with great people. There is something about this kind of project. And that's part of the reason why I chose it. You go into this kind of world and it will change you. You're, you're dealing with somebody who is as complex as John. The process itself was so mind bending, you know, trying to get this guy on Skype calls, him turning up with no clothes on, you know, it, it, it literally was madness. And yeah. I had to question my sanity at several points during that. But at the end of it, and the other thing that I haven't really touched upon at all is the kind of philosophy that, that I found appealing about John. You know, if you're a guy of a certain age, there is no doubt that somebody 20 years older than you, who is a little bit further down the line in terms of knowledge and experience, can give you a lot. I got a lot of that from John. Uh, and I, I wouldn't go as far as to say that he was like a father figure, but... He definitely gave me some kind of insight into the, 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 the vagaries of human nature that my own father couldn't have simply because of the kind of life that John lived. John lived this sort of multi-dimensional life uh, and he imparted a lot of wisdom. You had to dig deep for the wisdom. You know, mm -hmm. you had to dig through all the hype and all the nonsense, but there was a lot of wisdom in there. And I think going forward, I'd probably understand a lot more about human beings uh, as a result of working with John. And that's something I'm really grateful for. 